this project started out as a challenge to build something out of the leftover pieces and parts of past projects. Digging through the, the bins, we found some motors, some gears, some wheels, some tires, and some spare tubing parts. All right, so we have some of our pieces and parts that we found laid out. Got some wheels, uh, an old motor assembly from, I'm not sure what that was from, but we can reuse it to mount a new motor, some miscellaneous cutoff pieces of tube. We have an old frame here, and uh, I think this is what we're gonna do here. We are gonna be building this tiny bike. To, to start, I think what we're gonna do is just start cutting up this, uh, this old frame section off of another project, and we're gonna try to get these bars out of here and repurpose that, and we'll start building the frame on up. And to do that, we're using my favorite tool, the angle grinder. And, uh, you know, as much as I'm a fan of safety squints, the angle grinder, still use goggles. Working on our uh, top triple trees for our steering fork, uh, we have these two pieces of plate steel. We already clamped them together so all our holes are lining up. And then our forks, which are going to be these two, will slide in between and then these will get spaced out and welded, but we're just going to add a little bit more shape to these, so back to the angle grinder. So we have uh, most of our pieces and parts cut out and uh, we're ready to put them in a jig and burn them together. We have our bushings and our spacer cut for the front steering stem, so let's uh, put those together. There we go. Well, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, I think we can start figuring out our gearing and our spacing for our motor where that's going to sit. I'm thinking something like right about there. And then we'll end up mounting our bracket in there. But uh, I think uh, before we do that, we'll end up just... Um, figuring out how we're going to mount these um, rear sprockets to these hubs here. So to figure out how to get these these holes to line up on the hub here, what we did is threw this in the lathe and uh, turned it down just barely so that it fit on the inside ring here. And you're able just to kind of squeeze it in. And then I was able to throw this on the drill press 
And then drill using these as guides. And then punch my hole pattern here. So that should be as good as we need it. One trick I learned when cutting spacers, if I need them all to be pretty much the exact same height, I like to just measure them off and then using a tubing cutter, cut them that way. And there we go. Now we have three spacers that are all roughly the same height. are dry uh, we end up going with caterpillar yellow for the front fork and the frame here why because it's tiny like a caterpillar no it's just because that's what we had in the cabinet and then just matte black for you know the handlebars the seat and some of the other stuff but let's uh jump in and start putting the frame together then adjustable for you know comfort but uh, yeah that's the frame now we can uh, jump into the electronics and work those out all right so the electronics for the bike we have all wired up let me uh, bring you in here and show you what we're working with all right for power uh, we're just using a drill battery pack wired up to uh, a Dewalt receiver and then that's wired into an 80 amp uh, airplane ESC, which then is wired into our brushless outrunner motor. And then powering the ESC or converting the, the ESC, we have this um, servo tester that's been rewired running off of our bike throttle. So we can test it out, turn it on. If you want to see more details on the actual wiring, we're going to probably just split that off into its own video, otherwise this one's going to get real long. So now that we have all the, the wiring finished, let's uh, put it in the bike.
finest of grips made out of 3M electrical tape. So we have our battery tray mounted, our ESC all wired into our motor here, the throttle all hooked up. So we've got our belt on, everything is wired in. Let's throw in a battery and see how it does. I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever done a burnout on my workbench. Fantastic. As you guys can see, this thing is lightning fast. The balance on it is right on. And the ergonomics on it is perfect. Nope, none of that's true. Luckily, the battery only lasts for about five minutes because anything more than that, and uh, your legs are cramping up, and your back is cramping up, so that's a pretty much the extent of how long I can actually ride it for. But, uh, you know, thankfully the seat is adjustable, so that really helps out. But I, uh, I hope you guys like this project. And, um, you know, we set out with the goal just to build it all out of stuff we had sitting around, and predominantly we did. Uh, we did have to get a new ESC and some hardware. Uh, I think I had to get this too. Um, and uh, a longer belt, but predominantly the rest of it we just had sitting around, so I consider that an 80% an win. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this project, and uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. If you didn't like it, please subscribe, and uh, there will be a bunch more of this kind of stuff in the future. So until next time, take care.